uh, do an automation test a button or selecting a value from list of values the first thing or mandatory uh, thing we need to perform is to find the element using a locator so this is the mandatory action that needs to be done so my thought was like if i'm able to find a locator which is fastest among all the available locators then i'll try to use that particular locator wherever it's wherever uh, there is a possibility so that i can make sure that my tests or automation tests run faster comparatively so that was my agenda and so i decided to do and uh, in this experiment i also uh, considered only five locators and uh, and i did not uh, consider other locators like uh, link test or partial link test or tag name which are not uh, commonly used these are uh, rarely used locators so i don't want to consider them so whether i am uh, successful in finding the fastest locator or not to know that watch the video till end so i'm going to discuss about uh, the setup for my experiment so first i'll discuss about the setup i have done for the experiment then i'll go into the experiment and we'll do the comparison of the results so uh, here i decided to do the experiment on multiple websites because if i do uh, the experiment only one on one particular website then the uh, experiment may be biased so i thought like i'll do the experiment on three different websites randomly i consider yahoo gmail and facebook and then i'll average the uh, performance of the locators and i'll do the comparison against them so coming to the next point i also consider that if i if i'm trying to uh, locate an element on the web page so i should be able to locate that particular element using all the five locators so so that the re results of a performance are unbiased so the next thing is whenever uh, we hit a website so for example if i'm opening a google page from a laptop or mobile then depending on the internet fastness the website is going to load faster or slower if your internet is fast then it loads faster if your internet is bad on that day then it loads slower so it's going to it is a, there is a chance that it's going to impact the performance of the locator like start the experiment so here you can see the script or the selenium script which i'm going to run uh, as part of this experiment let me explain this uh, script first so first here i have a set property for the chrome driver and then i have uh, three web drivers so one driver is for gmail one driver is for facebook and other for yahoo mail and you can also see driver dot get the url the url is of my local host and uh, you can see so this is the so the all these three pages are running on my local system and i have a setup wait for three web drivers so that is a explicit wait and i'm also waiting like once i hit the a url then i am actually waiting until the presence of elements so i am making sure that the elements are loaded first so that then i am going to do the find element which gives me the proper element on the web page for all the three web drivers that is for uh, gmail driver facebook driver and also yahoo mail driver so once i am done with this so once i am i'm making sure uh, of the presence of elements on the web page so that is the elements are loaded then i'm just doing a, a simple find element this because uh, the first find element on the 
uh, server i can see it's slow compared to all the uh, find element after that so then then uh, uh, yeah i'm trying to locate the element using the x path so first i am uh, capturing the start time then i am looping for 200 times okay i am looping for 200 times that is i am going to find the element on uh, gmail driver and facebook driver and yahoo mail driver 200 times so after that i am capturing what is the end time and i am doing the total time as end time minus start time so i can get the total time so why i am doing here 200 times is like if i do only one time and it there may be some factors which are affecting the performance and i may get the uh, wrong values so if i do it for more number of times like hundreds of times so the error gets minimized because of the averaging and then i am capturing the time that is end time minus start time so i'm doing with the same thing with the id and uh, name and also the class name and uh, i'm just printing the times of i'm actually iterating for five times so that i can i'll i'll get the uh, five results and uh, i can uh, average the things and i can compare one another and uh, to conclude on something so let me run this and let us see what the results look like so while printing i have actually printed as end time but it should be total time because uh, end time minus start time is the total time consumed by that locator so let me modify this just uh, print statement yes now we are ready i have modified the print statement for all the locators so let me run the script so you can see it's opening uh, three web pages that is yahoo and G facebook and uh, also gmail and uh, you can see the total time it's printing for xpath this is the total time and for css this is the total time and i let it run and meanwhile i'll uh, note down this in the excel sheet so that we can compare these results yes okay we have the average and uh, and it looks very close you can see these values are very close so let us see what is the fastest so this is 4400 and this is a 4398 which is the fastest so i'll keep one here okay and uh, what is the second fastest this is 4400 and this is the third fastest fourth and the x path is the last okay let's not conclude here i'm going to do the same experiment three more times because i want to compare the all the results if uh, the same results repeats again yeah we are going to stay on the same result that is the class name is fastest and x path is the slowest so before concluding that we need to do the experiment two more times
So let me run this once again. Okay, now let us see it started. Oh, we'll run this test two more times, then we'll compare. And if you think that I should have done something differently in this experiment, please do comment below. have the values so before I do the calculation let me run this for the third time meanwhile it's running we'll do the calculation so it would save some time okay let's start with the calculations okay average let's do the average I see the value of X path is improved now. Okay, let's compare now. It's again very close. And again, I have the class name as the winner now. To the first place. And now for the second place, it's very, very close, but still, still CSS takes the second place. A very, very little margin. And then uh, we have the third place and fourth place and I have the fifth place which is export so the results are identical again okay before I do the conclusion I go for another iteration but I can say that the results are very close and uh, yeah you can see that the CSS and ID this no much difference. And between name and expert not much difference. So let me capture the third iteration results before we go for the comparison again.
could have run i would have uh, maybe written a program to export these results to the excel sheet but i was lazy to do that issue the fifth iteration Okay, we are done copying. So let's do the same average. So now I have 4700 for X path. Okay. And this time, this time I think there is a little deviation, the result. Okay. But still, next path stands at fifth place. Okay. And uh, here, CSS came first for me. And uh, second is the ID here. And third is very close actually 4730 and the fourth went the class name this time i don't know why but uh, class name went down the places last time so apart from that all the places remain same if you see apart from the class name you can see css id name stands at two three four and they have become one two three and xpath remained at the same place but i don't know why the class name it's a little uh, degraded in the in terms of performance for the fifth time so let's conclude the experiment so from all the iterations one common thing is xpath is not is like is like a uh, is it the fifth place or i can say it's the last in terms of performance you can see So it's not like they're very much far. It's like uh, if it's 4,700, okay, which is the least performing locator and the best performing locator is at 4,500. The only difference is 200 milliseconds, which is negligible in fact, in the third iteration. And let's come to the first iteration. For the first iteration, the least performing locator that is X path and the best performing locator class name the difference if you see it's uh, around 500 milliseconds and that's not very bad uh, like, uh, that's not a very big difference again and uh, in the second iteration it's the around uh, 300 milliseconds difference and uh, it's not big difference again so but in terms of performance if we see the what we can say is xpath is a bad performer in uh, among all the file locators but not by very far that we need to keep in mind and uh, if we average this thing out i think class name performed well if we average all the things uh, all the three iterations and followed by css id and name and one thing that has to be mentioned before uh, uh, ending this video so xpath can be written in uh, multiple ways like uh, there is a yeah, uh, there is there are two types of xpath like absolute and relative so here we use the relative xpath which is uh, which we use in the real time so but absolute xpath may be the fastest but that's not usable in the real time so i consider the real time xpath okay thank you uh, we'll uh, end this here and what do you think uh, 
on this experiment and please do write your opinion in the comment section if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please do subscribe for more videos